am born and raised in a rural community and I've always taught in rural communities and I really appreciate the relationships that I can build. I have been teaching for 15 years total, but six in Summit County. I'm a literacy interventionist and instructional literacy coach. Other professions like medical professions, right, have a board certification process. And most of us want a board certified surgeon, right, if we're in need. All Colorado children deserve access to a board certified educator. The process of going through the National Board Certified Teaching Standards and being nationally board certified means that you are among the best of the best. Really, it's the work that teachers are doing in their classroom every day, and it's documenting that work and submitting it for a rigorous scoring review process. As a first year cohort participant, it's been really inspiring. It's taken me to new places where I've learned a lot about my students, a lot about myself, the positives and the, the downfalls, and areas to pursue or learn more about to better enhance my instruction as a teacher. I've always wanted to do my board certification. It's been kind of in the back of my head for a long time. The prospect or the idea of doing it was very overwhelming and daunting. So when this cohort opportunity came along, and I knew I would have the support and the coaching of others that really just sealed the deal. There are not as many resources available in rural school districts, and sometimes rural schools get passed over for funding opportunities or other opportunities that are readily available in urban areas. And so this is a great way to honor and recognize rural schools and teachers. I have been teaching in Durango for 14 years now. Our closest city is Albuquerque, which is three hours away, so we don't really have the resources that necessarily a city has. I'm the only high school AE teacher in my area, and so I'm really, really remote. Coming into this cohort group, they're learning what I teach and I'm learning what they teach. I am the only teacher in my small rural school for my particular course, so I'm not co-planning with someone and talking about what we should be teaching. And my nearest colleague then, who would be teaching the same course, is an hour away. I worked with a Megan who works down in Durango, and it was great to have someone to bounce ideas off of and to really work with someone who's very different than I am. Right? I'm a math teacher and she works with you know, exceptional um, students, um, and so we have, we have very different day-to-day -day jobs. but could have some great conversations about how do we impact our students and how do we improve that. I would never do this independently. I don't think I would have survived without my partner. It was so great getting to reach out to him and we would make deadlines like, okay, by this date, we have to have these things turned in. We held each other accountable. We have two coaches that help us through the process, but we also have others to talk to that are going through it at the same time and not only just supporting you, but encouraging you and giving you feedback to help you keep going. When you're in the throes of it, it feels very intense and very rigorous, but upon reflection on the process, most educators walk away saying, it forever changed me as an educator. It was the best professional learning I've engaged in. I have learned so much about myself as a teacher and an educator. I've already been able to put new practices in place um, for my students and ultimately it's helping the students learn. Not only am I connecting with the people in my cohort, the, the educators in the state, but it, the educators in the nation because ultimately when this is complete we'll be certified to teach in all 50 states. I see it in my students, I see it within the colleagues that I work with, the families that I help support. I mean everything has just made me to be a better educator. And I knew that it would force me to be reflective and it would force me to to focus on my classroom. So often we do professional development around a book or we look at a case study or an article, but it's not my case study and it's not my article or my kids' needs. And so that's what drove me to want to become National Board Certified. Every single child in Colorado deserves access to a high quality public school educator and we are so happy to be able to offer this opportunity. It's just really an investment on the part of our state to say, yes, we will fund the process for you so that that financial burden is lifted for candidates and they can just engage deeply in the process. Prepare to really face the reality of what are you maybe lacking as a teacher and understand that that is part of the journey to becoming a master teacher is really recognizing 
these are the things I struggle with and we're gonna support you, you know, as we go through this to get better at it, but you are not a perfect teacher now and that's okay. That's, that's not what they're asking you to be to be in this program. They're asking you to be someone who's willing to work towards becoming a better teacher. Every day when I go to work, those students depend on me and I take that very seriously and I wanna be the best for them and if I'm just complacent and just keep going day by day and not building on how I can be a better teacher for them, then I'm not doing my job. It's, it's a tremendous gift to educators. I hope many, many rural educators take advantage of applying and, and that we just have this huge demand, more satellite cohorts all across our state in very remote areas where maybe this work hasn't touched yet. My students inspire me to do better and the other educators I think I want to do best for my students and for um, their families and our schools and communities, so I couldn't think of a better way to, to gain more knowledge than through this experience.